Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to another video by me, Astray. I am very excited for today's video. As some of you may know, for the past few months I have been making nothing but slop content, but I finally decided to make a semi-decent video talking about Deltarune, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I wanted to go on a small deep dive about one of my favorite aspects of Deltarune, which is its hidden horror premise, to which I thought I had a pretty clear understanding of. I don't want to go into details at the moment, but the more I try to get my idea ideas down on paper and organize my thoughts, the more I realized I actually have no clue as to what I'm talking about. So instead of giving you a high quality indie horror video, I'm gonna give you the bare minimum. This is the Astri channel, do you think I give a fuck? No I don't. Essentially, I wanted to make a video for those who are new to Deltarune or those returning fans who have no real clue of what's going on. One of the best aspects about Deltarune and Toby Fox's games in general is the fact that they're not contained to the game itself. In other words, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, to which not everyone is aware of. For example, I played chapter 1 and chapter 2 back in 2021. I tried to interact with as many NPCs and objects as possible, but apparently that wasn't nearly enough. When the status updates for chapter 3 were starting to get released, everyone was drawing fan art of a character called Mike. Bitch who? And if you're like me, someone who transitioned from being a hikikomori to a responsible adult to being a hikikomori again, I don't know what's going on. I feel exactly like paint grandpa. What the fuck is going on? Where am I? In this video, I'm gonna give you a small guide on the best places to look for the hidden Delta Room lore, which means that you're gonna be prepared in future events slash scavenger hunts without being completely lost as to what even is happening around you. So I decided to make a somewhat concise list of the most important events in Delta Room history as well as where to find these extra pieces of lore in the future. Like I said, this video was made specifically for those who are returning or new to the Deltarune community. Therefore, I won't go into a lot of details because there are other fantastic content creators who have done an amazing job and I don't want to repeat what they have already said. Before I begin, I want to ask you a question. Did you know that 95% of the people watching this video are not subscribed to my YouTube channel? So if you like my content and want to support me as a content creator, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I want to completely focus on this channel from now on and to make sure that this is a viable option, I really need as much support as I possibly can. And with that out of the way, let's begin. To begin with number one, I want to mention the Deltarune official website. I like to consider the Deltarune website as a sort of hub, as it directly links itself to other websites of interest, such as the news and updates section. This is gonna be the main part we're gonna be focusing the video on, as this is where you're gonna be finding most of the unused slash scrapped slash future sprites and music you want to hear. However, the Deltarune website goes way beyond that, as it contains its own fair share of secrets. For example, did you know that the Deltarune website existed before its release. Deltarune Chapter 1 was released on Halloween 2018, but the website has been available since 2015. If you access the website before this date, you would get dark images that seemingly had nothing on them. However, messing with the contrast would reveal a series of wingdings, which are a font strongly associated with a character W.T. Gaster. Decoding the wingdings would read, this next experiment seems very, very interesting. The iconic phrase that was mentioned on Undertale's Entry 17, as well as in the vessel creator of Deltarune Chapter 1, connecting the three together. Accessing the website in 2016 would display a different message. Three heroes appear to vanish at the Angel's Heaven, which is directly taken from Ralsei's legend in Chapter 1. I don't want to steal the spotlight from other content creators, so if you want to get a better understanding as to what Gaster and the Angel's Heaven is, consider checking the video by Misty Sparkles and Brownie Fox. It is important to know that although these quote-unquote events happened years ago, these are still subject of discussion within the Deltarune community. And who knows, maybe in the future we'll get more hidden gaster messages on the website, so it shouldn't be dismissed. Now that we're on the topic of Gaster, I want to move on to website number two, which is actually the Twitter account Undertale. Upon the release of Deltarune, the Undertale account posted a series of cryptic tweets written on a format that is reminiscent to the way Gaster speaks in Undertale, which is entirely in caps. Welcome. Have you been looking for me? How wonderful. I have been looking for you as well. So to be here finally on the verge of connection. After all, you and I have both been waiting such a very long time. Thank you for waiting so long. Now, show yourself, Deltarune. I look forward to creating a new future with you. 
This would happen again on September 17th, 2021, which marked the release of Deltarune Chapter 2. Reading, you have done excellently to persevere. Once more, I thank you for your patience in these difficult times. How long it has been. The Gaster tweets aren't the only thing interesting on the Undertale account. For example, there was also a mini-event involving a Q&A with Spamton G Spamton. However, for time reasons, I won't be able to read the tweets, but if you're interested, I don't know, go ahead, I guess. So, maybe these reasons are good enough for you to not delete Twitter. I personally fucking hate the website, but hey, that's a, that's a W, what can I say? Now, let's move on to the Undertale slash Deltarune newsletter. To access this section, you need to join the mailing list on the Deltarune official website. However, people have reposted them on various archives online. The most important aspect of the Undertale slash Deltarune newsletters is the progress of Toby and the Deltarune team working on the current chapter of Deltarune. These newsletters tend to be seasonal slash holiday related. They usually explain both what has been accomplished and the things they have been having trouble with, which means they will show off various scrapped sprites, ideas for following chapters, or just silly little goofy things. Look at them go. You can also read interviews by the other members of the Deltarune team, as well as just cool things going on Toby Fox's career, such as the Toho collaboration. I don't know if it's pronounced Tohu. I like to shower. Some of these newsletters also tease future plot points or merchandise. For example, the Autumn newsletter seems very keen on using words related to dreams or falling asleep, which could be interpreted in the religion what? which could be interpreted in relation to the Undertale alarm clock or the fact that Deltarune Chapter 2 ends with the characters falling asleep in the living room. However, if you had to ask me, I wouldn't try to consider the Deltarune newsletters as focal points of speculation. In other words, I don't think there's much foreshadowing slash in-universe stuff we should keep in mind while reading these. I think it's mostly just to show the progress on the game. But hey, I could be wrong, I don't know. Now, on to number 4, we're gonna be talking about the Deltarune status updates. These are pretty much the newsletters if they were beefed up, as they only happen yearly. They are more complex and in-depth explanations from the developers about the status of the game, but it's not limited to that, as it also includes various animations, screen caps, musical previews of stuff that will be used in the future or maybe will be scrapped. In my opinion, this is the most exciting part, and I fully remember when the 2022 version was posted and I was losing my shit. I really hope we'll get a status update soon and if we do I will probably make a video on it. In the meantime you probably should go and give a look as to some of the stuff you missed. Now we're moving on to number 5, which I like to call the special events, which we pretty much have only had one, being the Spamptons Sweepstakes. Spamptons Sweepstakes was an event to raise money for the Child's Play charity, raising over $300,000, in which people could vote the fates of Spampton, donating money for freedom or for silence, which is kind of fucked to think about. There are no ways to describe how wonderful this event was, and I really hope we'll get to see something similar in the future. As you know, I really like niche, indie, obscure, internet horror, and nostalgic media. So this is a treat for me. Emulating a website from the late 90s slash early 2000s, you were able to earn prizes via giveaways. Some of these including gift cards, shirts, and other things. However, this website is not only that, as it included plenty of hidden links going from the funny to the flat out disturbing. This website is incredibly fun, and I don't want to go in a tangent, but this is what gaming should be like. This event is the most united I've probably seen any fandom ever, and it was just a blast to see everything this website had to offer. Honestly, I don't even think I'm anywhere near done into discovering every single intricacy hidden over here. You get to see future content. For example, the mob slash gangster styled sprites that are gonna be used in chapter 3, or other silly world building aspects. For example, seeing how the Deltarune characters text each other, to which I love how Noel does it, because it's just so 2009, it's, it's so nice. <laughs> this website was not only a celebration of the accomplishments of Deltarune and made for a really good cause, but it also hides some interesting things about Noel's lost sister, Des. I personally could make a whole nother video talking about Des, because there is so much to be said and we have nowhere near enough information to know what's happening. This website was an amazing way to show the fans a glimpse of the future of Deltarune Chapter 3, as well as the mysteries plaguing the light world. 
And now on to number 6, which is the most obvious one, the game itself. Since the game is released by chapters, the best way to consume the game is by playing it. Chapter 1 and chapter 2 were released completely free, and to my understanding, chapter 3 and chapter 4 are gonna be sold in a bundle together. It originally was also going to include chapter 5, but the team decided to separate chapter 3 and 4 for the fandom to not you know, starve to death, to which I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this move. I personally have no issue with waiting 10 more years for another chapter, that's a lie, I'm probably gonna be dead in 10 years. As any decent human being, I am against the exploitation of game developers, and I think it's just kinda lame to rush a passion project. And genuinely, I don't have any issue with waiting 2 more years for chapter 3 and then chapter 4. What actually worries me is the fact that since Deltarune chapter 2 was an event rather than just a game release, I'm scared this is gonna affect the lifespan of Deltarune. I would say that when Deltarune Chapter 2 released, it was the best time to be an Undertale slash Deltarune fan. Everyone was posting fan art, theories, and YouTube videos. So what actually scares me is the hidden issue beneath the release of two simultaneous chapters. I feel it's gonna stop being about the chapter itself and it's gonna become a race to get to the end of both chapters to not get spoiled from a big part of the fandom who just wants to rush through the game and consume. Even from a marketing standpoint, I think it's kind of weird that two chapters are gonna be released simultaneously. In an optimal world, like I said, I don't mind waiting a couple extra years if it means we're gonna get two chapters in the same year. For example, getting a chapter in early 2024 and then getting another one in late 2024. I think this gives people plenty of time to assimilate what actually happened and to absorb the messages the chapter is trying to portray. Because if you don't, it just feels it's over before it even started, if that makes sense. But anyway, at this point, I'm pretty much just tweaking. This is just my personal opinion, and no one gives a fuck. And finally, I want to give a quick shout out to Toby Fox's secret base. This last one isn't particularly Undertale or Deltarune related, but if you're someone like me who really cares about Toby Fox and his future endeavors, it is very interesting to hear him interview other content creators or talk about just random things like movies he likes. I actually made a video where Toby Fox interviewed Kikiyama, which is the guy who made Yume Nikki, so maybe you're interested in reading other things he has to say. But anyway, that pretty much sums up everything I had to say. I hope this video is a clear guide on how to discover and explore Deltarune. There's a lot of things I wanted to say in this video, but I don't have enough time or the energy to talk about them. So if you want more videos like these, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. If there's any other websites that you guys think are important and I missed, please tell me in the comments down below and I'll add them to the description. Like I said, I tried to make this video a very broad explanation of important events and characters that are hidden. But there's a lot of stuff that I definitely missed or flat out neglected to mention, so I could make a sequel completely focusing on characters like Spamton or Mike or Des. So yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Astri, and we'll see what I post next, because now I'm on my winter break and now I'm pretty much completely free. I don't have friends or bitches. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.